Bobby Lee here with the chiller bait tank. We've been getting some inquiries and some questions from tournament crappie guys. Wanting to know if the chiller bait tank can keep large amounts of minnows or transport large amounts of minnows to tournaments. Crappie guys know the struggle. Get to the tournament, bait shops are out of minnows, they jack the price up, they don't have the right size. So we decided to give it a try. We made the, the wife and I made a road trip today, bought about 1,300 minnows. Yeah, 1,300. It actually doesn't look like that many in the tank. I think you could probably keep about 4,000 minnows in here. So we're back home. Um, we had some of the questions were if it would run on 110 or amps or power situation. Some of you may be familiar, you can take a trailer plug and run your running lights and actually power a tank. So we actually ran our tank off of our truck all day. We have a plug wired to your standard trailer hook up here. You gotta have the running lights on. Um, there's a few other systems you can do a little bit more advanced, but if you're in a pinch and you wanna run a bait tank, you can off your truck. We haven't lugged a battery. We haven't had a battery charger. We ran it off the truck all day long. Uh, some of the other questions were, can it run off a of 110? Well, kind of. So we're home now. We got it plugged into our power converter. We have another plug here that easily plugs into our tank. We got it wired to a power converter. So when you get back to the hotel, or you get back home, you can plug it into a power converter. Everybody knows minnows need to be kept cool. If you're not familiar with the chiller bait tank, it's roto molded and fully insulated top, bottom, sides, every inch. Comparable to any name brand roto molded cooler, fully insulated. We have our thermometer down here from the Luna Coolers. We've been able to keep our tank at 61 to 62 degrees all day pretty easy. Um, average water temperatures, 10 pounds of ice will cool our tank about five degrees. We've gotten a lot of questions about, does ice contain chlorine? The process of making ice, most likely it does not contain chlorine. However, it will likely contain chloramines, just as deadly to your bait fish. So if you're gonna add a large amount of ice in here over a course of a few days, you're gonna wanna add a chlorine neutralizer or a chloramine neutralizer. Um, like I said, uh, 10 pounds of ice is roughly about a gallon of water. So a gallon of water diluted in 45 gallons, not too deadly. Let's take a look at this here. So this is our Johnson SPX Thousand Flow system. This is our original system with our high pressure Venturi. Here's our 1300 minnows. It didn't look like a lot in there. You could probably keep about 4,000. Probably even more than that with a little bit of care. So. We wanted to test our original system to see if a thousand gallon flow would make these minnows work too hard. So what we've actually done, got one trying to escape here, get back in there buddy, has actually turned our nozzle flat and pointed it up and ran most of the current across the top of this tank. If you'll notice that school staying tight to the bottom resting in the calm center of this tank and moving as a uniform school. They're not really working too hard. I think this is probably ideal being you can keep that thousand gallon oxygen flow to your bait. Now obviously cured baits aren't gonna need a real high-tech filtering system so we may fine-tune this for you crappie guys. Maybe just include the fine filters at the bottom you could experiment with maybe using a, a carbon filter in there to polish the water. 
but the familiar SPX high pressure Venturi system. We got all of our agitation back here, all of our air bubbles, keeping nice calm baits. You'll notice no foam, no bubbles, nothing to agitate or stress your fish. We've actually only added about one cup of salt to this and you minnow guys may have your own treatment. Probably whatever you typically use is gonna work for a cured bait. But we just added some prime and one cup of salt. So to answer your question, crappie guys, I think you could probably make this tank work for transport. Easily keep enough for a week of pre-fishing. So we're going to keep testing it, see how long we can keep these baits in here, and we'll keep you guys updated.